Hey guys, I'm here with Academy Drum Corps and I'm about to get a tour of their audio setup. Let's go check it out. So these are our tops, these are our speaker stacks, these are our RCF HDL6s, we have four on each side, and we have our 8003AS subs, also from RCF. These are powered tops and powered bottoms. Um, we have a powered distro, distro right here that comes from the generator and goes directly to our speakers first, and that provides power to the speakers first so we shouldn't have any brownouts. And we also have our PI cards that hold them. So that's it. The way that we are wiring our mics are we have SM57s for all of our boards. And what we have are Cat5 snakes that run into a distro at our mixer. So our, the most connections our mallet players have are two inputs into one person. And then one person does the Cat5 into the mixer. And it's all daisy chain but clean, and there's only a few cables in the back, so there's not a big rush of 50 people trying to plug in spots at one, in one spot at a time. But, but yeah, we have the 57s with the shock mounts and the windscreens, and we're good. So what we have here are our synth carts. Uh, we are running main stage rigs with a 2020 uh, Apple Mac Mini M1 chip. Uh, we have our monitor, keyboard, and mouse. We have a Roland A88 for our uh, controllers. Then we have our stage boxes for our for our mixer that plugs in our boards and our electronics and our field mics. We have a distro for our Cat5 cables to do so. And then over here we have our trip light battery backup, which gives us about 500 minutes of power. We have our fan for our computer, we have our computer, and then we have a power strip in the drawer. So this is the mallet station setup that we have. It's our mallet station slash bell setup. Uh, we run our mallet station through main stage through our 2019 MacBook Pro right now, and we will be switching it to redundant systems soon. Um, right now, we use it for all the rhythmic samples, so all of the drum set stuff that we had electronically we're putting through here, and any of the rhythmic samples are coming through this system. Uh, we have a nice breakbeat section that she wails on, which is awesome. Um, right now, we are running it through a MacBook Pro, but we are actually in the process of switching that over to the redundant system. But that's how we're running the main, uh, the mallet station rig, also through main stage. So our field mics here at the academy, what we are using are the AT8035 Audio Technica shotgun mics. Um, we were. We were when we first set it up. We had it up about 10 feet, and we were just picking up a lot of battery. And Eric Cosman was in, and he suggested dropping the mics down to see the difference. And it was great. We're not getting any as much, nearly as much as the battery as we used to, and we're just getting nice full sonority from the horns. And the purpose of our horns isn't to push and make the sound louder. It's just to support. This is our mixer setup. What we are using is an Allen and Heath, Allen and Heath D Live system. We have a C3500 control surface and a Mix Rack 32 mixer. Um, the funniest thing is, I've used all sorts of different boards, and this is the easiest mixer I've ever used, even though it's super powerful. The touchscreen interface is just super smooth. Um, it's one of those, it's rare to be able to have because it's an expensive mixer but it really is the best mixer I've ever used. Um, so we have the mix rack, then we have our battery like we have on the synth carts, which gives us about an hour and a half with the extra load that we have. Um, we have a power strip for our staff to plug in so it's not interfering, but they can charge their phones because that tends to happen a lot. Uh, we have our wireless system, which is our Sure SLX systems. Um, then we have a drawer and that's it. During the show, I have Jesse who's running the board. He runs scenes and mixes from the bottom, and I'm at top on the phone with him calling it from up top. Um, the times where I'm by myself, then I have the brass caption head, Lisa Tatum, call it for me, or one of the brass staff. Um, but 
we run multiple scenes because of the field mics. That way we have the right levels and we don't have to live mix it. Uh, we, I think we have 35 scenes, which is a lot, but it's what we need for the field mics. But we're running scenes, we're sometimes pushing the field mics just to get a little extra oomph out of the brass at the ends of phrases. But other than that, it's basically set and forget. That's the idea, at least. All right, and that's Academy's audio setup. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and we'll check you on the next one.